Well, good morning, everyone. We're really excited to be here. Um, I was telling uh, Jeff Pratt, we were sort of reminiscing. This, this project, uh, it took a few years to get here. Uh, so quick history before I tell you a little bit about ESG. We, uh, the, uh, the uh, proposal for doing something with the gas at the Conroe site actually came out in the summer of 2010. And so we've been working on this project ever since then, and uh, it, uh, we are thrilled to be here today. We have some phenomenal partners in Green Power EMC and Advanced Disposal who have just been awesome to work with. And we are so excited to be here today and to be telling you all about this project, which uh, we're gonna be uh, breaking ground on here very, very soon. So just a little bit about Energy Systems Group, who we are. Um, we are a, we're a Indiana-based company, and we are what's called an, an ESCO, or an energy services company. So you, you guys may have heard of that term before. Um, that's a, our primary focus is on energy efficiency projects that pay for themselves through guaranteed savings. Um, a lot of our customers are in the municipal sector, colleges, universities, K-12 schools, um, uh, and, uh, and the like. But we also have a really robust uh, renewable segment of our business, which is what, what has brought us here today. We have about uh, 240 employees uh, throughout much of the United States. Uh, we've, been, we've been in existence since 1994. We've done over $1.4 billion in projects. Um, and uh, we uh, uh, have an active uh, branch actually here in, in Georgia, in Atlanta. Uh, my colleague Ray Henson is there. Ray is our um, uh, regional director uh, for our southeast region, which does include Georgia. Uh, we also have um, our colleague Dwayne Bruns. Dwayne is with us here today. And so for those of you who are here locally, and you're going to want to stop in and uh, uh, check on the status of the project or um, uh, how things are coming along, you're going to see my colleague Sean and my colleague Dwayne. So those are the guys who are going to be basically uh, almost living on site here for the next few months bringing this project to reality. Um, we, uh, uh, as I said, do a lot of work with municipalities, universities, schools, and hospitals. Again, that's in the energy efficiency sector. Um, and those conserv energy conservation measures are, are what you might think of traditionally in, in uh, the energy efficiency world you know, uh, improving lighting, improving heating and air systems, water, uh, and the like. Um, we do this exact same type of work, so energy efficiency improvements that pay, pay for themselves through guaranteed savings. We do this exact same type of work with the federal government as well. That's a huge component of our business. And uh, um, in an era where um, budgets are increasingly constrained, the type of work that we do, uh, self-funding, uh, energy efficiency improvements through guaranteed savings are really attractive in the federal government sector. Um, so, uh, but more specifically about why we're here today, uh, renewable energy, um, and I'm going to turn it over to my colleague Sean. Um, we're really excited to add the, uh, the, the Conroe project to our portfolio of renewable energy projects. Sean. Thanks, Christine. Christine said, uh, my name is Sean Saints, and I'm a performance engineer with Energy Systems Group, and I was responsible for the design and engineering behind the Pecan Road project. Um, our renewable energy portfolio continues to expand and diversify, but our real core focus uh, is on design, build, and operation of landfill gas and anaerobic digester projects. Um, we do continue to work in the more traditional uh, renewable energy fields such as solar, wind, and geothermal. All right, I'm definitely excited here to talk about the Pecan Road Project. Um, as I said, ESG is responsible for the design, build, and, and operation of the project on property that we're actually leasing from our partners at Advanced Disposal. Uh, this will be our third landfill gas project in the state of Georgia and our sixth overall nationwide. So, um, yeah, we definitely come to love working in the state and we're, we couldn't be more excited to be down here in Valdosta. Um, this site's going to produce enough power to, or the, sorry, the site produces enough gas to generate 4.8 megawatts of power. 
Uh, as was mentioned earlier, that's enough electricity to power over 2,000 homes sustainably. Um, this is all accomplished by taking landfill gas, cleaning it up, removing the moisture, and then powering three large cat uh, generator sets. Uh, this power is then put on the grid and purchased by Green Power EMC, our partners. And uh, we're extremely excited, as Christine said, it's been a long process, but we couldn't be more excited to announce that construction is just about underway and will be operational in the fourth quarter of this year. So, thank you very much. And by the way, we, uh, we will be having, uh, at, at, once the project is completed, we will be having a, uh, a ribbon cutting ceremony and y'all will be invited, of course, and many others, and we're looking forward to that and we anticipate that to be late October or somewhere around in there, um, and we'll, we'll keep y'all posted, but we're looking forward to it. Thank you. Thanks.